Hey everyone, a few days ago on Saturday the 11th of March I went on a little book buying trip to London and a little meet up with two incredibly uh, nice people namely Katie and Caitlin. Katie's channel is Katie Loves to Read and Caitlin's channel is Kitty G and I'll link their channels in the description box below of course. This was a really fun day and indeed I will talk about it in the ramble section as a title suggests but before I do that I'll just show you the books first the book all part because there are only four books I, I brought somehow I managed to restrain myself quite heavily because the other times I've gone to London and I've gone a bit more enthusiastic I've ended up with ten or more I think each time this time just four so frankly I'm quite happy that I've managed to actually restrain myself so badly the first book that I brought was from Scoob Books which is a small independent bookstore that deals in uh, second hand books and this one is a very yellow book but it's not a masterworks although it's pretty close and that is the one of the um, masterworks companion lines which is called the SF Gateway books this is by Pat Kanika the three novels that it contains is Tea from an Empty Cup, Mind Players and Fools these are basically books that wouldn't quite meet the masterworks by themselves but the authors are masterworks were they actually most of the authors in the line have probably one masterworks and these are quite important books for the author just not either long enough in some cases or significant for whatever reason but they sort of don't quite qualify for a masterworks the third book in this which is Fools is an award winning book which is why I specifically wanted this one I've been looking for this for quite a few months now because obviously my award winning book project that I'm doing uh, this will fit in and go along with that because frankly it's the only way I'm going to be able to get hold of the falls because I think it's quite difficult to get any other way at least at the moment the second book is also a yellow book and it's also from Scoop and this one is a masterworks so it's going to be good on these shelves and that is The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells this is one of the relatively rarer hardback masterworks like most of the, hard, the masterworks are paperback I've been wanting to read this for many years obviously the idea of the invisible man is a well known one a scientist is working on some form of um, serum or substance that will basically make you turn invisible and he's successful with it in some way and unfortunately this makes him become very twisted and frankly very disturbed so he, these weird things happen and he goes a bit crazed frankly um, it's one that I've been wanting to read for years and it's just a curious one you know, I mean the fact that obviously I only brought it for like 450 from Scoob was also great so I'm quite happy the third book is Tigana by Guy Gavriel K this is a epic fantasy I believe you class it as I brought this almost entirely because of well not entirely obviously it does sound interesting about but because of Katie obviously I was standing next to Katie in the bookshop and I purposely waited until she sort of started looking at a different shelf and then I very quietly without making a big thing of it picked this up and just somehow managed to actually carry this around the shop and buy this is in Forbidden Planet in London without Katie realising and then once I we was leaving the shop I was like oh by the way Katie do you realise I just buy this uh, which obviously she found amusing because she knows it's that she loves this book and indeed she loves this author I've never read anything by this author before I've been curious about him for a while I've heard of this one years ago as well and this is just one that sounds quite interesting it's a sort of large scale epic fantasy I don't know too much about the plot but it does sound really interesting and yeah it, it may take even me a while because it's a great big thing so I'm not going to be reading this too quick I don't reckon because I'm not in the mood at the moment to read any giant books so it'll probably be a few months away but probably soon though the fourth and final book was also from Forbidden Planet and that is Planet 4 by Emma Newman I've been wanting to read something by Emma Newman since last year since uh, Rachel Kalinardi first made me aware of uh, Emma Newman and this one does sound particularly interesting it's science fiction I know that it has a features a 3D printer quite significantly I don't really remember too much about the plot now which frankly I don't want to anyway because I want to go in relatively blind as far as I'm able all I know is is that 
quite a few people that I trust, like Rachel and many others, greatly like this book. The reason I haven't bought it until now is, frankly, Emma Newman books, because uh, she's an English author, but she's got an American publisher. As a result, in the UK, her books are really quite expensive compared to most paperbacks. They're actually about 50% more expensive. So I got this uh, with a discount in the shop as well, and I didn't realise until I bought it, this is actually a signed copy as well. So, I've amazingly got my one and only uh, Emma Newman book to be signed. So, you know, that's always a really nice thing. So, that's it as far as my book haul goes. Like I said, it was only a small one. Now, I'll have a little bit of a ramble about the day in general. Now, the reason for me going down to London was basically, in January, Katie mentioned that in March, obviously, uh, this Saturday, uh, she was going to be going to London along with her parents because her parents had a business trip and she was to go along and you know have an explore of London. So I immediately suggested, well, we could meet up and obviously we could include Caitlin in this because Caitlin's fairly close to London and well, Saturday happened, frankly. I'm really glad that this happened because uh, Saturday was probably my favourite day, well not probably, it was my favourite day this year. It was a really fun, really nice day, spent in bookshops, looking at books. We had lunch in a little restaurant for a good hour, and there just three of us were just sitting off this table having some really nice food, which I really enjoyed, and I was just talking to the two of them. It was just really fun, and I can't explain how fun it was just talking to them in a really relaxed environment. I mean, obviously in person, you know, seeing the people behind uh, the cameras, it's just really nice. Uh, it is the fourth time that I met Caitlin. If I didn't mention in previous videos when I've met Caitlin, Caitlin is a just as genuine and just as nice as she appears in her videos. Actually, she's more um, nice and just much friendlier person than she is in videos. And I would obviously recommend you go and check her channel out because it's really, really good. You know, she actually talks more eloquently and more intelligently than I can manage about books. And for Katie, it was the very first time I've ever met her, because obviously Kate, Katie is from Dublin, so obviously you know, it's less common that I'm going to meet her, sadly, because she's a really nice person. And like Caitlin, Katie is even nicer in person than she appears uh, in videos behind the camera. I expected that she would be, and Thankfully, I've proved correct. She's a really nice person, and can I just point out that um, in Katie's videos, you can tell that she's Irish because obviously she, you know, she's got a distinctive Irish accent, but it's not as sort of strong as what you might think. You know, it's quite mild Irish accent. In person, Katie is very obviously Irish. Her accent is extremely distinctive. I mean, although I've got the uh, sort of advantage though in that my dad is from Ireland, actually he's from Dublin in fact, and indeed I've got Irish relatives all around Dublin, so I tend to pick up on Irish accents, and in particular the Dublin accent, rather easily, due to this obviously very strong connection. So to me, Katie was like Irish, like super Irish in person, and mild Irish in videos, which I thought was kind of amusing, and she's a really nice person, and I would be quite happy to meet Katie, and indeed, Caitlin again and hopefully I will meet them both again this year at some point when I can't say but preferably at least once more this year if not many times because frankly who doesn't want to talk to nice people about books and have something to eat whilst doing it I mean basically it's just a perfect day frankly as I said this was the nicest single day I've had this year due to the people and frankly the books part of it actually became surprisingly almost secondary overall because whilst obviously I liked going in the bookshops and obviously buying the books really even before um, I actually started several weeks ago you know, before I actually set out to London I realised then that actually the book buying part of it in the book sort of uh, you know visiting the bookshops and stuff was really not that important really because I was more looking forward to meeting Katie and Caitlin because meeting them is important because frankly books you can buy books anywhere, you know, books are books, they're just material goods. People are important, far more important than any book can ever be. I mean, I'd give up books if it meant that I, I, um, I could speak to 
with all these people on a really regular basis without question frankly so it's just a really good day but really good people you know and I ended up having some nice food and books out of it so frankly that's everything you know people books and food and also the weather was on my side so it's kind of a perfect day pretty much oh, and one last thing that I've got to say before I end this video is that KT is the first non-UK booktuber I have ever met and meeting KT though does give me a certain optimism now more than I had that I can now meet other non-UK booktubers because I know quite a lot of other non-UK booktubers not just booktubers but booktube related people you know viewers and things so now I feel as though I can actually got more of a chance and I'm far more likely to actually be able to meet some of the people that I get on well with and that I genuinely like and I badly would like to meet many of them when this will happen I don't know because I know they are in different parts of the world in you know like there's quite a few Americans for instance but they're all over America so how I'm going to meet all of them in a reasonable time frame I don't know I'll manage it I always do because you know frankly I'm not going to be stopped so and that's basically all I need to say so uh, the links to both Katie and Caitlin's channel can be found in the description box below along with all my social media links and my book depository affiliate link as well um, if you want to say anything about any of these four books or indeed the meet or any other little sort of booktube or book related meetups that you've been to then you know please leave a comment and we can have a talk and with that said that is it for this video so thank you for watching and i'll see you another day bye for now